What's going on guys? My name is Aryan. Welcome back to Wired Hardware where today we're going to be talking about fittings. Yes, I've done a video on fittings in the past. If you haven't seen it down below, I'll leave a link. If you're too lazy to go down below and click that link, then just click up here. It'll take you straight to that video. But fittings, what are fittings? And to all the new water cooling people out there that want to start water cooling, fittings are pretty much the most necessary part you can own when it comes to water cooling um other than cpu blocks radiators and graphics card blocks and all that stuff uh, you need fittings fittings is a must so fittings are pretty much the connection between the water and the pump and the blocks and the radiators it's all that so fittings is very essential and fittings can get pricey depending on what kind of build you're doing how you want to do your build do you want to bend tubes if you bend tubes maybe not that much but if you're doing a bunch of 90 degree angles and you know you need extenders and rotaries it can it can add up so uh fittings very important now today i'm going to be talking about bits power fittings bits power fittings you may ask who is bits power if you don't know bits power is a pretty big company and no i'm not getting paid to say that i like bits power they've always done a great job when it comes to their product um and uh, a lot of my builds that you guys see on this channel have i've used bits power fittings on those builds and always i'm satisfied so today we got bits power fittings and we got them in the white skew now i'm going to be doing a snow build coming up hopefully in the next week this one is going to be in the corsair 7000x it's going to be a 12900k build so it's an alder lake build and it's going to be my first build of 2022 and i'm really excited finally got my hands on a pair of white ddr5 memory which now allows me to start the build but i'm waiting for some more fittings but since i have this these fittings i thought let's go over them and talk about what each one does okay so first off we got a compression fitting this now there's two different types of compression fittings or actually i should say three different types when it comes to hard tubing with bits power you got their aml series their eml series and the regular ml series now these are the aml series the aml basically stands for advanced multi-link and now the difference between this and the rest is you got a bigger collar so you got a way bigger collar as you can see you got a metal o-ring that sits on top of another rubber o-ring and then you got its base now the base you just tighten up to a radiator cpu block pump and then you go ahead and you slide in the rubber o-ring and then after that you pop in the metal o-ring and then you just go ahead and seal the collar down why i like these amls to be to be quite frank with you guys the collar is bigger you get two sets of o-rings on it you get one metal and you get one rubber um, and i don't know they look cooler uh, and it's not only because of the color i mean i love the white color but uh yeah just i like bigger collar i think it's better this is their their ml series so the ml series is pretty much smaller collar you get one o-ring and that's it pretty much that is it works great i've used these a lot and i have a bunch of these um but this one is it it's not as big color as the aml series and um yeah it's just it, it's totally up to the person who's building the pc maybe they like these because it's a low profile fitting um but yes these are ml series now eml is enhanced multi-link i don't have any emls here um but they're pretty much like an aml but just a little bit smaller on the collar um next up what we got are these are the 90 degree torque uh rotaries not torque i don't know why i said torque these are the 90 degree rotary uh fittings so basically these will hook up to a radiator cpu block gpu block um you can hook it up to a pump and this allows you to just come out let the water come out in a 90 degree angle so you really don't need to worry about uh bending a tube coming out of a pump coming out of a, a block coming out of a radiator you can just go ahead and tighten this up it's a g quarter um threading and basically you just tighten this up and now you have you can start your tubes out coming out from that 90 degree i really love these and i think that when you're doing a water cooling build having having different fittings is very important because 
you don't know what's going to happen. You know, we, we, we usually have a plan when we want to water cool and we think we know how it's going to go. But trust me, there's been so many times where I am water cooling and I, and I plan it out. I write it. I sketch it. I say, okay, this is going to come out of this. This is going to come out of that. But at the end, it doesn't turn out that way. Just measurements could come off a little bit um, incorrect. And then, you know, you could be a little bit offset from the, from the block to the radiator or to the pump. So things can happen. So it's very important that you get enough of the type of fittings that you, you, may, you may think you need. And then at the end of the day, even if you don't need it, you can always either return it or just keep it for your next build. All right. Now we're going to go and talk about this one. This one is a male to male uh, extender. It's not only an extender, it's a rotary extender. So basically it allows you to turn it and these are going to be mainly used for drain valves, especially when it comes to bits power drain valves. There are, there are drain valves that actually have a male um, fitting, a male, like it has a male coming out of it, but it's not this one. So this radiate, this uh, drain valve right here, this one is female. So you can tell that there is no um, male extension coming out and it is just a female extension. And that's why you would need to hook this up to the dual male and then you can go ahead and you can tighten this up into your pump so it can make it a lot easier when you're doing maintenance on your pc uh, it is very very hard to do maintenance on your pc if you do not have a drain valve hooked up to it trust me i've done it before and i always regretted when i never put a drain valve inside my pc no matter when it was i mean it's just having a drain valve can make your life so much simpler and i recommend it that's one of the things i really recommend now next up is going to be an extender this is a 15 millimeter extender this allows you to just get that little inch in if you're a little bit off with the tube uh, maybe if you need to push out a little bit on the radiator you can use this and this will make your connections much easier if you don't want to either scrap a tube if you're if you're bending a tube you can go ahead and hook this up again to any gpu cpu radiator pump and it'll give you those couple inches letting you either use your tube that you cut that was a little bit off or you can either just try to push for example if you have your drain valve blocking something right hook up an extender push that out a little bit more and now you're good so it will not intrude the next one is going to be a 10 millimeter extender same deal as the 15 millimeter just a little bit smaller and again you use these to make either room that for whatever fitting that's hooking up to one of these extenders or if you want that extra extra clearance um, when it comes to hooking up your tubes but this is pretty much it you know honestly i just wanted to make this quick video and just kind of go over what i you know have currently um there are different uh, other fittings out there there's like extenders 90 degree extenders um there's going to be some uh 45 degree angle fittings there's going to be um dual 90 degree rotary angle fittings. so there's a lot of other fittings but for right now this is what i got and i just wanted to kind of go over this video with you guys and just show you the deluxe white edition i think these look really nice and the only one thing that i kind of don't like is the branding i mean it's it's bits power but if you're doing a build that you want it to be all white i'm pretty sure maybe you can get rid of this i don't know yet i'll be testing out some things to see if i can get rid of this and just make it all white which is going to be really dope and yeah that's it guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it wasn't really a long video but i hope to at least give you guys an idea if you're starting to water cool or if you want to see how these white fittings look like I hope you get to see it now and make your decision a little bit easier on which branding you're going to get when it comes to water cooling. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure to make this video for you guys. I hope everybody stays safe and does well. You can also sound down in the comments what you guys think about these deluxe white uh, fittings. Do you guys like them? Do you guys not like them? Or tell me what's your favorite fitting. I'd like to know what your favorite fittings is and what fittings are you guys using inside your water cool PC. As always, guys. I appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one.